Welcome to Developing with DocuSign. I'm Emily Wong, a DocuSign rotation engineer on the developer content team. For my six month rotation on this team, I created a new sample app for a developer center, My Government. And today I'll be showing how I developed this app. First, to explore our sample apps, you can find them all located on our sample apps page in the developer center. Sample apps are example applications that showcase possible DocuSign integrations for different industries or they focus on specific APIs, such as how my click wrap features the click API. We have a variety of sample apps available across multiple industries and APIs, from healthcare to real estate and now the public sector as well. My government showcases an integration between a generic government agency and our e-signature API. The app uses a Node.js web application framework called Express.js on the back end and React on the front end. And to make calling the e-signature API easier, my government also uses the DocuSign Node.js SDK on the back end as well. This app is open source and you can find all of its code on GitHub. See the resources at the end of this video for links. Now I want to walk you through my process of building my government from start to finish. The first step of developing the sample app was choosing what industry it would feature. After doing some research, I decided to go with the public sector as this was an industry I wanted to see more DocuSign integrations with. But since I had limited knowledge on the public sector, I met with various subject matter experts working here at DocuSign. They shared common requests from customers, as well as their ideas on what scenarios and APIs the app could include. I would love if this is a generic government thing that doesn't say this is federal, state, local, maybe even some other country's government, and we don't have to specify what it is. The users are typically employees or contractors of the agency, right? The constituents are generally just signers the users are going to be more focused on the internal side. Do we have an API example of conditional routing? So that comes up a ton. Now that I had lots of notes, ideas, and suggestions, it was time for me to narrow everything down into a few scenarios in the high-level requirements document. When I had a draft of the requirements document ready, I sent it to the subject matter experts and my team for feedback. The final set of scenarios I moved forward with is the mix of local, state, and federal government use cases. This includes applying for a small business loan with the government, receiving or responding to a traffic ticket, and applying for a passport. I also considered including a potential monitor API use case, but removed it due to time constraints. With the requirements document in good shape, I began the next step, creating user flow diagrams. In order to get a better idea of what screens I needed for each use case and the components for each screen, I created user flow diagrams in Figma. This helped me both plan out what to develop for the app and also served as a reference for the designers who helped me with the UI of my government. After sending these diagrams off to the designers, it was time for me to start researching what technologies I wanted to use for the sample app. Right off the bat, I knew I wanted to use React for the front end of the app, so the challenge was determining what I wanted to use on the back end. Since I had no prior experience in web development, I combined a lot of my research on back end web technologies with web development in general. I explored a lightweight Python web framework, Pyramid, and learned more about the various components of a web app, like servers, template engines, and HTTP requests and responses. I also looked into a full-stack JavaScript app platform, Meteor.js, and learned more about how servers interact with databases and clients. But the final one I chose to go with was a minimal and flexible web app framework called Express.js that seemed to be a popular choice among Node.js developers and had lots of tutorials and guides online. This was perfect for a web development beginner like me. Now that I knew which technologies I wanted to use, I finally started developing the app. The first thing I did was create a basic React app using React's create React app command and deleted some unnecessary files. From there, I began building out the backend functionality first with the server. I added JSON web token or JWT OAuth to the app for authentication and slowly incorporated more and more features like embedded and remote signing. Once I had the base envelope objects created, I added more tabs and features until the skeleton for each of the three use cases was done. Then I created the mock documents that the user would sign and added in the tabs for those documents too. After finalizing all the documents and tabs, I was finished with the backend functionality and moved on to implementing the front end. But before I started writing more code for the UI, I wanted to refine the designs I received a little more. Once the app was looking how I wanted it to look, I used SAS, a CSS extension language, to begin styling all the pages. Another member on the developer content team, Paige Rossi, also helped me style the buttons and implement the scenario cards on the home page. 
I finished up with the login page of my government and now the app was ready for a security review, QA, and deployment. To prepare for the threat modeling session with the application security team, I made data flow and architecture diagrams of my government. My team then helped me with QA, editorial review of the app, and deployment. This wraps up my process of creating my government from start to finish. To try out my government for yourself, check out the Developer Center. And here are the links for the various resources related to my government. Thanks for watching. If you're watching from my YouTube channel, please post questions and comments below the video or email us at developers at DocuSign.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out the DocuSign Developer Center for more content. Bye!